Hey, this is John from St. Petersburg, Florida, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? How are you doing? It's a new day. Get our day started here. This lumber that we have on our trailer is getting delivered right now. Well, in five minutes, we're just around the corner. We're gonna go get this lumber off the trailer and then make our way towards Owatonna, Minnesota. And then we go home. So I won't make it home tonight yet, I don't think, but uh, we'll be home tomorrow. Depending on how long they take to load me and I have to tarp it and everything. It always takes a little while in Minnesota there, but... Oh, 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 that one snuck up on me. I made you yawn too, they're contagious. Let's get rolling here. You ready, Chevy? Just rolling out of the Fargo, North Dakota parking lot here. delivered near the Steamart, apparently. And then we're sort of towards the south side of Fargo right now. So on the north side of Fargo, there's this truck stop, which is a very nice truck stop. It's called the Steamart. And apparently it's right around there. Now that was fast. That was really fast. I'd barely gotten all my straps off and the trailer was empty already. What I like to see. What is this red car doing? Are you gonna change lanes or just like just about cut people off in that lane twice now? North Carolina plates. I think she might just be trying to see around this truck, but in the meantime, she's like, look, now she's going that way into that lane. You know, if you want to go around that truck, you could use your signal, change lanes, and just go around them. What is she doing? Back and forth in the lane. Oh well. Looks like they've centered themselves now. I know it's frustrating being behind a big truck. Believe me, when I'm in my pickup, I hate being behind big trucks. You can't see what's in front of you, right? You can't see what's coming. Sometimes they throw rocks at you. I don't like it either, but you know, if you don't like it, just go around. We're pretty slow and easy to get around. Just don't cut us off when you come back in in front of us. That's all I ask. I got no problem with you going around me. But I'm not going to speed up and go any faster. So I got a 72-foot unit. Whatever's going on behind me, I don't care. <laughs> They're way too far back there for me to care. Whatever's going on back there. Oh, now this van wants to cut in here yet. People are so interesting the way they make decisions on the highway. Oh, now, there you go. Now you found your signal. No, wait, change your mind. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Go for it. Go for it. Go over. Go around the truck. Go around the truck. No, you lost your opportunity. No. Wow, this person's really nervous driving. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous being this close to them. I get nervous around people who aren't confident driving. Like if you're if you're scared of driving, practice on a less congested road until you're confident driving in traffic. Going well, that way again. And pay attention, buddy. Come on. What is he doing in there? I'm looking in his back window. They're like What are they doing? Now he's wandering into that lane in front of this truck. He's not paying attention. Oh, he's got his phone in his hands. Oh, I see. I see. Makes more sense now. I was beginning to think they were drunk. Goody for me. They said it's gonna be a while before I can even get into their garage there. I just went in and checked in. Apparently there's five drivers ahead of me yet. 
and each one of them takes a couple of hours. I don't know when they're even going to get to start. My appointment was for around about 5 o'clock and I got here at quarter to 4. So I'm a bit early. But usually when they when they tell me it's going to be a while, that usually means it's going to be a while. That's why I showed up here at quarter to 4. Because usually if I show up that early, then I'll get in the door at my appointment time around 5. And that's normal. But if they tell me it's going to be longer than normal... Oh well, goody, yay me. I guess that means it's nap time for me. So what that means is uh, I'm going to detach from my trailer here, I guess, and uh, go find a quiet place to park. They told me that they can put the trailer in the door themselves. I'm going off duty. And uh, I guess 10 hours from now, hopefully we can be rolling out of here a little more than that I guess because I'll still have to tie it down and tarp it but uh, we'll be leaving early early in the morning for home I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen here we're gonna be driving through the night <sighs> oh whatever I might get home earlier this way you know I'll get home sooner we'll see maybe if I leave like around like 2 in the morning it's a 9 hour drive home so Two in the morning, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, I still count on my fingers. I'd get back to the yard around eleven in the morning, and then I'd still have half the day at home. It's four p.m. now. I didn't want to spend all day tomorrow driving home. I wanted to spend tomorrow at home. That was sort of the plan. Well, technically. It's the next morning already. Holy oh, hot out here. It is ridiculously hot. So humid. I feel like I can drink the air. Oh. So they got me loaded. I got my tarps on. I just got to tie the tarps down or bungee them down. And then we'll be on the way. Uh, <laughs> my 10 hours are already up. So as soon as I'm done tarping, I'm just headed home. We're going to be leaving at about 2.30, 2.45 in the morning. And it's a nine hour drive back to the yard. So I'll be up all night. I'll be good. I, I slept pretty much this whole time waiting to get loaded. So I'm wide awake. I'm just, I'm gonna get dehydrated fast in this. I'll quickly go in there and show you guys the load before I finish tarping it so you guys know what I'm talking about. And I guess we'll continue on home in tomorrow's video. I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet. It's definitely summertime. So it's a really easy load to tie down. Sorry about the music in the background. That's not my music. But it's about 39,000 pounds of glass. I just threw my tarps over it. Just gotta quickly bungee them down. And that'll be that. Just threw them on here, so. There we go. Hopefully I don't get a copyright strike on that music in the background. As long as I keep talking close to the mic, which should be good. But. Right on, let's get this thing done. Let's get out of here. First, we need some water. There you go. 
we're ready to rock and roll in record time, I think. It's time to drive through the night and go home. Drink some water real quick before we go. I moved my tarps that I'm not using to the front of the trailer because uh, there's 39,000 pounds on this lower deck right now and it's not quite centered. I won't be overweight in the back or anything, but uh, there's nothing up here, right? And these tarps here are about 150 to 200 pounds altogether, something like that. So instead of adding all of that extra weight onto the trailer, at least move some of it up here, right? It's not much compared to that, but every little bit counts. I prefer to carry the weight on my truck than pull it on the trailer. You get a much smoother ride that way. That was like record time. I was focused, just. Let's get out of here. Gotta go get our paperwork it's in the other building. Then we can go home. I got a surprise next week. It's gonna be a very special trip. I can't hold it back, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. Brit's coming with. We're getting in the truck uh, Sunday evening. Probably gonna drive to Brandon, Manitoba or so, get a little bit of a head start towards Edmonton. And then on Monday, we'll make it to Edmonton Monday night. Tuesday morning, we unload this stuff in Edmonton, then we come straight back home. We have a specialist appointment uh, on the 4th at a Fertility Clinic. So that's an important one we don't wanna miss. They're gonna help us along in our journey towards having a baby and getting Brit pregnant, so. Excited, I'm not gonna miss that. Even if we have to come back from Edmonton empty. That's what we'll have to do. So she'll be with us for a few days and the whole family will be actually, all the dogs and everything. It'll be a full house again, but it'll be a lot of fun. Hi, I am Eric. I'm from a northern small town uh, called Luleå in Sweden. And uh, you're watching <laughs> Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. <laughs>